welcome to another session of Tipco JasperSoft and MongoDB. Uh, in this video, we'll see how to pass a Mongo connection to sub report through a sub report properties, and then we'll use uh, Mongo command like dollar project and dollar unwind commands, and then we'll publish the server the the report to the Jasper server and run the report from Jasper server. So we'll cover each step uh, one by one. First, we'll go to the JasperSoft Studio. So in this JasperSoft Studio, you can see there are two reports. One is main underscore, uh, main underscore uh, SQL and one is main underscore sub underscore Mongo. So main underscore SQL um, is, uses a relational database connection and main underscore sub uses a Mongo connection to display the values. So inside main underscore SQL, you can see two fields. So for that, first we'll go to uh, data set and query. So here you can see that um, I have uh, selected a, I've used a put mark data sample database and this is a Postgres uh, connection and it uh, just selects data from a customer table. I've just limited it to five so that it doesn't go to, um, uh, it, it doesn't produce more pages. So I just um, have two fields, ID and city, and that we are displaying it over here with the column header and detail brand. So the, the, the main thing is now how to pass a uh, database um, uh, MongoDB connection from the main report to sub report. So we have a sub report defined here. And in this sub report, um, we have to now pass the connection from this sub report to, uh, from this main report to sub report. So for sub report, in the properties, you can see there is a connection expression. And in this connection expression, you can initialize a connection, MongoDB connection, with passing the necessary parameters. Uh, so for this, the for this MongoDB connection, it has a URL um, uh, which connects to which has a MongoDB host name and port number, and JasperSoft is a database name, and um, the username and passwords. So once this connection is being defined here, it's it will pass this connection to a sub report. So in the sub report, you just have to, in the data set queries, you just have to define the collection over here with the, uh, for example, in this case, we have a users table and um, at, it has two uh, two fields, that is uh, F name and colors. And uh, it just, and here I've just defined it, the field values and it will display. It. So first we'll run this report and see the output. So once I'll, Define it. I'll just save it and compile it again. Okay, once this is compiled, I'll just save this as well uh, and compile it. Okay, so now we'll just um, preview the main report. Okay, now we can see that um, we have this address and city which is from the main report, but we have um uh, name and colors which is from the sub report um if you want to see this collection in mongodb so this is how it is in mongo database so we have this users uh, table um and this we have uh, first name and last name and color so you can notice that colors is in an array so um, it, as it's in an array it's being displayed in the same way in uh, uh, just as a just a report. So now next, uh, we'll see how to use this Mongo command like um, dollar project and dollar unwind in Jasper report. So for that, um, we'll go to the sub report, and in the sub report, if we go to data set and query. So whenever you are using um, aggregate functions and um, in Jasper server Jasper report, you have to define it first by using the run command and then the aggregate command. So we aggregate. So we are aggregating the uh, document or the table users, and in the pipeline we have dollar project. So dollar project is nothing but it will show the subset of all the columns or the fields into the. Uh, it will just retrieve those few values to the uh, for aggregation, and then um, we are using unwind. So given the example of uh, the colors field, which has those values stored as array. Uh, uh, which is con now which consists of three values red blue and green so after applying the unwind um, command what will happen is that it will split into three different rows 
that is colors red colors blue and colors green and then associate and get associated with other values in the table so going back to jasper so we'll just save this report again compile it and go to the main. so here you can see that it's being shown as as an array but now we'll see how it will be defined in the now So I'll just run the report again. Okay, now this report has uh, been generated. You can see that uh, the name uh, is being repeated three times and it's being associated with colors, each of the um, array uh, values, that is red, blue, and green. So this is the, how the unwind works in Jasper so Jasper report. And uh, now what we'll do is just um, upload this report, um, publish this report to Jasper server. So for that, uh, we'll do a small change here. We'll just put the suffix as JRXML and then uh, just add prefix as repo and save this. And now we'll just publish it. Okay, so we'll publish in uh, reports. So it's attached this uh, sub report and uh, we'll choose some, we'll choose Footman database, data source. So, uh, okay, so here it goes and click on finish okay this has published the report to jasper server now we'll go to jasper server and to go to the path where the reports are so this is the path reports and we'll just run this report okay now you can see that the same report has been published to jasper server and so I've also defined here, um, just it's for just testing that how uh, the Mongo connection returns the value. So you can just delete this uh, text box from here if you are, if not if it's not in use. So just um, it's just to test the connection when it returns the value. So if you give some wrong values here, it will uh, it will throw an error. Next is just your reference. So you can use uh, you can just refer to this website, um, this link. So, for example, for Unwind, I have um, just referred to MongoDB document. So, here you have aggregation um, uh, definition for Unwind. Um, and similarly, they have the examples provided here. And also, you can refer to how to define the queries in Jasper server. So you can refer to this URL. Um, in this URL, you can see there is an um, how to use dollar project and other commands into MongoDB uh, into Jasper Server report. So this is the reference, and thank you for watching this video. Thank you.